Hi everyone, this is Anson from AnsonAlex.com and in this video I'm going to show you how you can find and remove duplicate files in your Google Drive. So here we are in my Google Drive and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to create some duplicate files. So I have this PDF here and I'm just going to right click on it and I'm going to click make a copy. And then I've also downloaded this PDF so I'm just going to find it on my computer and I'm just going to drag it in here to upload it. And we'll keep both files since I want to simulate having duplicate files. So now I have this original media kit PDF, but then I duplicated it here in Google Drive. That's why I have this one that says copy of. And then I also re-uploaded it so I have the original file name with the one appended to it. So how can we remove duplicate files? Now, first of all, I'm going to show you the easiest way, but there are some concerns with this way. So we'll talk about some other ways uh, towards the end of the video. The easiest way is to use a Google Drive add-on. So we can just go to the right side of our screen and we can just click on this plus icon or we could go up to the nine dots and scroll all the way down and click more from Google Workspace Marketplace. In here we're just going to search. So we're just going to search for duplicate. And we have a few different apps that pop up and you can try some different ones. Um, I've tried the Clean Drive app. It doesn't really work as well to me. I find that this one works the best and it's been around I think the longest. You'll notice how many downloads it has. It's called Duplicate File Finder comma cleaner for drive. So we're going to install this. Now here's where the concern comes from. When we install these add-ons we do need to grant them permission to our files. Obviously this one's going to be looking for duplicates so it does need to see our files. Uh, so we do need to give uh, it permission to connect to our Google Drive. So if that's a big concern for you you might want to try one of the other options but they get much more manual and one thing that I would recommend is once you're done searching for and deleting your duplicates go ahead and revoke permission to this add-on. So we'll go ahead and grant permission and click continue. Then we can click done. Now we can go back over here to Google Drive. Let's just refresh the page. And now to use this add-on we're going to go up here to the Google Apps drop down and we're going to search for it. You'll notice that it's down here at the bottom where it says duplicate file finder cleaner for drive. So we'll go ahead and we'll click on that add-on. Now what we need to do is we need to specify which type of files we'd like to find. So notice that by default it's going to do a duplicate large file finder. And notice that we have some other options on this screen as well, but let's go ahead and let's just give it a try and let's click on scan the entire drive. Notice that it's scanning and there you go. We have our three files have now popped up. Now one thing here is that one of these we might want to keep, right? Because we have the original and then we have two copies. So we could go in here and we could just check these manually and we could say, you know, check these two and then we could click on the trash all button and it would delete these two. Now I do also want to show you that you can choose this option that says check all except for the first. So that will keep, I believe this is the uh, newest created version. Um, so by default, so if you always want to keep the newest version, that would be an easy way uh, to kind of check them in bulk. Um, and then you can go ahead and like I said, go ahead and click trash all. So let's go ahead and give that a shot. Now before we go and check on how this did, I do want to mention that I know this doesn't have the most beautiful user interface and I'm not sponsored by the app, the add-on creator or getting paid or anything like that. I just find that this tool does work and a lot of other people do too. The biggest complaint is the user interface. I think that you can do a lot with the tool. Um, these are obviously advertisements where it says start now and start now so don't click on that to start your search or anything like that. Uh, so it could use a little bit of work, especially in the user interface, but it is functional, so that's why I'm showing this tool to you. So now let's go back over to my drive, and you'll notice that I don't even have to refresh. I only have one version of this file, so the tool worked successfully. Um, it was able to find my duplicate files, and I was able to delete them with the tool. So now what we can do to remove this app is we can go up to the gear icon in the top right, and we can click on Settings. Then from here we can go to Manage Apps. We can find the app that we just used. Can go to the options and we can choose to disconnect it from Drive just to remove its access. So now if we were to go back in there and just check again, you'll notice that that app is no longer in here because we've removed it. Uh, so it no longer has access to our files. Now, here are a couple other things that you could have done. First of all, let me move. I have a few different copies in here, but I'm going to restore some of these uh, so that they're back in my Drive. So Notice that we have uh, a few different versions here. Uh, so one thing that you could do, I'm just going to rename this file real quick, is you could do this manually. And this depends on how many files you have 
and how sensitive your information is. But one way to do this would just be to search for some of the duplicate file names. So if I searched for one here in Drive, you'll notice that um, this one comes up, but so does the one, any file that has this one in parentheses, which is always going to be a duplicate if I uploaded it. It's going to say one. You might even have two. You might have like, you know, a first copy and a second copy. So you could search for two. You could also search for copy of, and that would show any files that you've manually duplicated here in Google Drive by clicking on make a copy. So that's the absolute most manual way to do it. The last way that I recommend would be to actually download the desktop version of Google Drive, which you can do by clicking on the gear icon then clicking on get Drive for Desktop. You could download Drive for Desktop and then you could find a duplicate file finder for either Windows or Mac, whatever type of computer you're using, and you could run that on your Google Drive folder on your desktop after you've synced it with your online cloud version of Google Drive then you could delete the duplicate files on your desktop and resync it back up to the drive. I don't recommend this method because I think things can get really messy when you're using the local version of uh, Google Drive and you could actually end up creating more copies <laughs> than you are uh, removing them. But if the other two options don't work for you, I think this is the third best option. There's no easy solution for this when you have a lot of duplicate files. You either have to risk you know, giving up a little bit of security for a temporary time, you have to do a lot of manual work, or you really have to do a lot of manual work with this version as well in terms of downloading and syncing and re-uploading and all that sort of thing. But I think these are your best options. So if you found this video helpful, I would really appreciate a thumbs up here on YouTube. And if you wanna see more technology tips and tutorials, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. That's all I have for you for today. This is Anson from AnsonAlex.com.